Hi everyone, welcome back to Digital Dreambox. Now that we've finished modeling the low poly version of our gas pump, I want to show you how to prep your mesh for the UV unwrapping phase. So let's uh, jump right in and take a look. Alright, so before we start, I just want to say that I originally had this video as part of the next tutorial, but it made it way too long, so I had to separate it for you guys. Um, before we begin UV unwrapping, what we want to do is um, delete the history and freeze transformations on all our objects. Let's hold down the right mouse button to go to object mode. And we did this in the last part, but just in case anyone's joining us now or they didn't do it in the last part, let's select everything and delete history and freeze transformations. We do get a bit of a warning down here, and it's just letting us know that these objects in the front, the fuel gauges, are instances, and they can't have all their transformations frozen. All right, next, what we wanna do is clean up this geometry as much as possible, and um, Maya has a really nice tool to help us do that. It's called the Cleanup Tool. Let's go to the Mesh tab, and down here, we have the Cleanup Tool. Um, sometimes I call it the Mesh Cleanup Tool. Let's open up that option box, and what this tool can do is it can look for any problematic areas in our mesh or try and clean it up outright. So let's select everything. And over here, rather than clean it up, I just want to look for those areas first. I'm going to change it to select matching polygons. Here we go. And then I'm going to look for lamina faces and non-manifold geometry and click apply. And now what the tool will do is it'll highlight components um, that could be issues for us when it comes to, say, modeling or UV unwrapping. It's showing some um, of these vertices that are lit up and over here as well. I'm going to turn on X-ray mode just to get a better look. And you can see them all. On my mesh, it's showing some errors, but on yours, it could be very clean. You could have no issues, or you could have even more things that are lit up, right? Let's uh, go back to regular preview. And now what I want to do is ask this tool to clean it up for us. So I'm going to go back into object mode. And I'm going to select everything. And now I'm going to change it to clean up and hit apply again. And it's kind of unclear whether this tool uh, worked or not, right? But what I'm going to do is select off for a second, just box select everything and do another preview and then hit apply. And now you can see those vertices aren't lit up anymore. And over here, they're not lit up anymore as well. So that's awesome. Uh, this tool did a really good job and cleaned it up for us. But just uh, as a heads up, sometimes it won't be able to clean up everything and you'll still have to manually go in and clean it up yourself. All right, now what we wanna do is maybe look for n-gons as well. I'm gonna change it to faces with more than four sides. And we know we have some n-gons in our mesh, but what we wanna do is just make sure that they're where we expect them to be. So let's select everything and uh, hit apply again. Make sure you're on select matching polygons and apply. And it's showing some n-gons on the front here on our display, which is this flat area, which will, will be totally fine. And on the side here where our fuel nozzle will insert into, which will be fine as well. So that's expected. Um, why I like to check for n-gons though, is that um, uh, sometimes your vertices might not be properly welded and checking for n-gons can help locate those areas. All right, but I can select off now, go into object mode, and um, we're ready to uh, begin UV unwrapping. Um, but I also wanna mention that I do have a tutorial that goes a little more in depth on how this tool works. And I'll put a link for it at the end of the video in case you guys wanna check it out. But for now, let's close this window. And yeah, we're ready to jump into the next part and start UV unwrapping. So see you guys there.